In this problem, a restaurant had a total of 28 customers sitting at 14 tables. The same number of customers were sitting at each table. Complete the number sentence below that can be used to find the number of customers sitting at each table. Well, here's your number sentence. Let's look at it. It says 28 divided by some number gives you another number. So how does that relate to what we're doing? Well, division is the key, right? They even show us the sign here. But what we have to know about division is that whenever you divide something, you break it into equal groups. So let's say I have 12 something, 12 people. And I want to divide them in three groups. Well, the way division works, right? 12 people divided by three. This takes the 12 people and makes them into equal groups. They have to be the same amount. So in this case, each group has one, two, three, four people, right? And every time we have four people. It's not like with division we would ever get a group with two people or another group with five people because in this case you have to have exactly the same number of people. That's the same, that's the key idea of division. And that's what they tell you here in this problem. Except instead of 28 people, Instead of 12 people, there are 28 customers or people. And then instead of just saying groups, there are tables, and those tables are the groups. And they say it here, the same number of customers were, were sitting or were sitting at each table. Well, this means that 28 divided by 14 will give you the answer. So you're taking 28 people and dividing them into 14 groups. Now this is difficult to do in a picture, but multiplication always helps with division. So here, I'm going to say 14 times 1 is 14. That's not very helpful. But 14 times 2 is 28. And we can see it like this as well. 14 times 2, right? 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 1 is 2. But why does this help? Well, here we're trying to find out what 28 divided by 14 is. Well, if you know that 14 times 2 gives you 28, then you know that 28 divided by 14 is 2. This is a, a really important idea with multiplication and division, that you can go back and forth. So here, that's my number sentence. And a number sentence is just an equation. What does it say here? Complete the number sentence below that can be used to check your work. Oh, well, we just did that. This number sentence is what we need. Notice it's some blank number times another gives you 28. Well, there are lots of combinations for that, but the only one we want to use is 14 times 2 or 2 times 14 because right we don't want to use other combinations like like 7 times 4 or something because we're looking specifically at the way the multiplication connects to this division problem so the fact that 14 times 2 is 28 of course tells you that 20 divided by 14 is 2 just like in this example right here if you took four people and multiplied them by 3 you'd get 12 which means that 12 divided by 3 is 4. These things are always going back and forth. Anyway, that was just a little sample into the inverse operations on the New York State test, which is, I think, nicely connected to the Common Core, and we have plenty of other videos on this topic. Thanks.